they truly are tiny miracles. But sometimes these tiny miracles show up a little too early. I have a little boy, Clark, who just turned 11 earlier this month. He was a 27-weeker, so he was born about three months early. We had had a pretty uneventful pregnancy before um, we, we learned that we were in jeopardy of having some um, having a baby early. Lucky for Angela Hudson, little Clark did fine. But when she had time to look back on her experience, she realized something. And I learned that the March of Dimes um, contributes to the contributed to the research that, and that helped develop that medication to help his lungs continue to develop. She also learned the March of Dimes does a lot more than that. The March of Dimes mission is to improve the lives of babies, and we do that through four different uh, avenues: research, advocacy, community programs, and education. Dr. Charlita Guillory has been working at Texas Children's a long time, so she's seen firsthand what parents have to go through when they have a preemie. One out of five premature babies will have complications. So for me, it was very important for me to look at my parents and not only just do the research and the work that we're doing, but to partner with an organization like the March of Dimes who has the same goal. And it's that same purpose-driven goal that has rated Texas Children's Hospital number five in neonatal intensive care units across the country and number one in Texas. We provide surgery for our little babies 24 hours a day around the clock. We get babies from all over the United States that are coming here. And with good reason. With the March of Dimes and Texas Children's partnering up the way they do, Texas Children's is able to help families with all kinds of issues. Whether it's the Neo um, NICU Family Support Group, or whether it's the work and the support of research for surfactant to decrease respiratory distress, or whether it's the March of Dimes work in nutrition to make sure that we're able to provide the best nutrition for our babies while they're in the hospital, I saw the stamp of the March of Dimes on all of our neonatal babies. Something that has not been lost on Angela Hudson. After we, we got through it, um, for lack of a better word, unscathed, and, and we had this beautiful, wonderful baby, I was interested in, in learning how I could learn more, how I could learn more about the preventive me measures that um, were in place to help other mothers who might find themselves, other families who might find themselves in such a situation. And so when I learned about the March of Dimes and the walk that um, was held annually, it was really important for us to walk. The March for Babies, which is going to be held on April the 29th at the University of Houston is our major fundraiser and the March for Babies in Houston is the largest march that we have in the U.S. Last year we had over 40,000 people from all over the Houston community that came in to provide support and raise money. Three million dollars worth and at any time, $9 million of funds is available for research right here in the Texas Medical Center. And the thing that I'm really excited about is that Texas Children's Hospital this year is the presenting sponsor. And when I learned that Texas Children's would be a presenting sponsor this year, it just kind of brought back that flood of memories. Because of when Clark's birthday falls, it's at the beginning of April, um, we thought it would just be great to walk in the March of Dimes walk in honor of his birthday. Which means if you're out there participating in this year's March, you might run into Clark and his parents.